All right, so welcome to episode six of my Dance Gavin Dance lyric review slash reaction series. This is uh, one of my all-time favorite Dance Gavin Dance songs. It's what opened my mind to Tillian's sound. When this album first came out, I uh, uh, I didn't understand what they were going for with like this falsetto soprano singer hitting all these ridiculously high notes. Because you know, I like what they did before, but you know, this sort of just threw me for a loop. So I, I sort of fell off the map following them. Doesn't matter either way. But this song, the sequel or, or uh, <laughs> ending of the Strawberry Swisher trilogy, Strawberry Swisher Part One and Two were two of my favorite, you know, songs by Dance Gavin Dance because they were just so ace. Anyway, so Part Three wraps it up, and uh, you know. It, <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine many uh, reasons why they would name it Strawberry Swisher, right? Leave that up to your own interpretation depending on what you're into, or not into, rather. Strawberry Swisher Part 1 and 2 seem to be very hedonistic, pleasure-seeking songs, you know, like, seeming to be about women, or, or, or you know, like, the, the comfort and pleasure one can feel when with somebody or a specific thing. And the song seems to finish the trilogy by criticizing that nature, but from the lens of religion. <laughs> you know, uh, comforting words are not all they are cracked up to be when you uh, break them down on this level, especially when these kind words are meant to subjugate and manipulate you in ways that are pretty much unfair. So... <laughs> uh, I'll just read a couple lines to pay attention to. Got a box of lies, gonna get you high, with the words of wisdom that you need to hear. Food for thought. Read the lyrics if you like.
Very trippy, huh? Yeah, so again, uh, it seems to be a very clear conversation between the heart and the mind trying to process and reconcile the nature of religion, you know, uh, and, and church, rather. Uh, or even, like, uh, the nature of cults and stuff like that, which, you know, some people have tried to argue that certain churches are cults, and it's hard to really deny that when you compare the definitions. Uh, because what properly defines a cult, and I know this from studying uh, criminal justice and sociology in school, is what, what properly defines a cult from a group is exclusivity. As in, you know, like, you can only think these things to be in our club. That said, it should be clear up to this point that that's not what I'm trying to do with this <laughs> series or channel. You know, I, I don't care for cult-like thinking. Uh, I'm not here to tell you what all of this is about. I'm just here to present the information and try to expose this peace, love, and joy uh, to as many people as possible. Or, or even, you know, help uh, fellow fans of Dance Gavin Dance to, like I said, see the band that they love on a much deeper level, uh, or at least appreciate them on that level, or accept them <laughs> with my acceptance speech. Uh, we're getting closer to the end of the album here, and uh, we don't have that long to go. I think it's about halfway through. That's what it looks like. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Uh, eventually I will, in a similar fashion to what I'm doing here, break down these lines uh, line by line as, as they become more relevant. And that said, my pretext and preface with uh, my previous videos should tell you everything you need to know about how introspective um, this band has focused on since getting their new singer Tillian. I'll wrap it up there. That's, uh, again, these are just the thoughts of another guy. So um, don't take them too seriously or take yourself too seriously. You know what I mean?